Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well we had a question on one of our bootstrap videos, um, pretty basic question. It was how do you make the height bigger on the navbar? And I've just got a, a default bootstrap template here with a navbar if we look at it. Here's our dock type. If we go down just below the body, here's our actual navbar. As you can see, it says navbar. Navbar expand, which is the big one. And it's called navbar dark because it's got a dark background, background dark, and it's fixed to the top. Okay, if we look at it, the simplest way to do this is with the built-in bootstrap padding classes. I can add, add padding top and bottom to this. So if we go in there, and in the classes, class, and you've got your inverted commas right there. You can add a new class, P for padding, T for top, dash, and it increments from one to five. So if I put five in there, that will be the most we can do with this particular thing. And I think it's measured in M's. And I also want P for padding, B for bottom, five. Now, if we save that, control S to save, and I refresh, this nav, nav bar is probably going to be about this big now. There we go. And as you can see, that's quite a lot. You, like, you can increment these. Let's change those fives to threes. And it should be about half that size. But it should, still should have increased. That's how these little classes work. That's great. But what you also want to bear in mind is your body. If you make this too wide, it's going to cover up the body. Let's do a different way of doing it, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. If I take those away now, and uh, if you can't get what you're doing with those classes, then you can do it manually just with regular padding. So under your style sheet at the top, or in your external style sheet, wherever it is, let's do some style. Okay, and in here, we've got a class name for it, navbar, navbar expand, navbar dark. So we'll grab the class name. All class names have to have a period or dot in front of them. So it's dot and then the class name. Open and close some curly brackets. And let's say padding. Let's give it 50 pixels on the top and bottom and zero pixels Ooh, might want to put in the pixels there and zero pixels on the bottom I mean on the left and right so it should give it 50 pixels on the top and 50 pixels on the bottom expanding it by 100 pixels and none on the left and right we don't want any left or right control s to save and again you can see that's bigger but you'll notice what it's done is it's covered up the actual body content there. The reason for that is, is with the default template, it's calculated how much it needs before the body. So we can simply push this down with a bit of padding too. So if we go back in there, let's go down. Here's our little first section, top section right here. And let's give it a class name. I'll get rid of that one that I've got in there. So it's just a regular contained section. I'll give it a class name of, I'll just call it top S for the top section. And we can give it a margin on the top of the extra amount that we've added or even more if you want to. So let's go back up here to our style. And the class name we gave it was top section or top S. Open and close some curly brackets. And we'll give it a margin just on the top. And we've, we've increased the other one by 100. So let's try 100 picks. We can always add more if we need to. That should make it all visible again, semicolon. Save the changes. Let's go back to the site and refresh. And we should be able to see this hopefully now. There we go. I kind of like mine further down if you want to adjust it a little bit more. 
that's very easy to do you can either just give it more here or actually in the content itself you can do it down there if you want to with this first div here now if you've got a colored background it's going to push the margin down and you'll see the white background behind it so you could actually use padding instead of margin that would take care of that so let's say padding top and it should have the same effect save that control s let's take another look at our site here there we go and it's pushed it down quite a ways just it to how you want it but i hope that's answered your question of how to increase the height of your nav bar there so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day